So after uh, doing you know uh, video analysis, and we realized that uh, you know we can't scale up with uh, you know doing it on a manual basis. So we invested a little bit on image processing and how we can get the data automated in an automated manner. And so we can set our minds on analyzing the data thrown up by the system. So we made some, some uh, progress in that, and uh, we have lots to offer uh, in the coming days. Uh, I'm sure that we'll be able to uh, get more data collected in an automated manner so that we can reach to all, all sportsmen at, at every level. Today, sports mechanics, we have worked for 16 years at the elite level, and probably we are one of the few companies who have worked at the elite level up to the grassroots. So we also, uh, we've been working with uh, BCCA for the last 16 years. Uh, we've been working with the ICC for the last 10 years. We've worked with uh, IPL teams. Uh, out of nine editions, uh, eight editions, uh, finalists have been our clients. And uh, IPL, there's a, a huge contribution in terms of uh, people are buying, spending $10 million based on gut feel. Every team was spending 66 crores based on gut feel. So we added a, a gut feel is important, the experience is important, but we added a layer of analytics to it to validate the gut feel and experience so that the spend could be more optimized. We also developed a smart scheduler for the BCCI where well, this time it is all neutral venues. So what happened was that immediately the distance traveled by the teams came down to, 40, again it was reduced by 40,000 kilometers. All the teams put together, the travel was reduced by 40,000 kilometers, which means lesser fatigue, which means lesser injuries, enhancement of performance, and reduction of cost. We have, auto, you know, we have completely automated the complete cricket operations of BCCI today. A lot of people have been talking about BCCI, but they are one of the organizations which have done a lot as far as technology is concerned, they've embraced it quite a bit, but there is still a lot more to be achieved in that. So what we have done is uh, we've collected, uh, most of the scoring is done with scoring books earlier. So we automated it, we developed an iPad app, we gave all the scorers, we trained the scorers on uh, you know, scoring in iPad, and today all the matches of BCCI are being scored live and within two seconds it's all reflected on BCCA.tv. So from there, the analytics takes over and it, it has multiple uh, effects in terms of talent identification, talent monitoring, talent development. It is useful for so many people. So we didn't have uh, people who can score, so we also wanted to bring a social angle to it. Uh, you know, we, uh, we didn't have enough data activists, I would call them. So we went to orphanages. We thought, okay, we'll go to orphanages, train, a few orphans on scoring, cricket scoring, using the iPad, and probably they can make some money out of it. You get five, paid 5,000 rupees a day. So today, there are a few uh, youngsters who have made that as a career for themselves. So with the digital transformation, what we are doing is we are unlocking the content within each of the sporting bodies. There is a whole lot of content which is there, lying there in each of the sporting bodies, which is the history of the sport in that particular region. So we work with all the governing bodies of the sport in that region, trying and uh, trying to develop the sport along with them, and taking it to the schools, taking it to the districts. We have operated at the national level, we've gone down to the state level, we want to go down to the districts, to the schools, and make a difference there. So we also felt that fan engagement, whatever analytics we are serving for the Indian team, why not serve it to the fans? So why not a data-driven fan engagement? So we also came up with a, some innovations there where we felt that today the fan goes in search of information. So we wanted to reverse that saying the information should chase the fan. See, we developed a, a unique application called InstaPlay, which is a video, kind of a video scorecard which is more like a, a push kind of an engagement. A lot of people want to watch the game live and they, they're not able to do it because of the time zone and because of their commitments. So this video scorecard comes and sits in the mailbox and the fan is able to watch the way he wants. He can watch it however he wants, whenever he wants, and whichever he wants. And today in a live game, in a live streaming, 
60% of the content which is served on live streaming is not relevant for a fan and is also digging a hole in his data plan. So the, this video scorecard enables the fan to experience cricket differently. So all our efforts are into making people enjoy sports differently, experience sports differently. We were born in an era where we didn't have television, but today's kids are born with smartphones. Can we change the coaching methodologies? Can we make use of the new media and realize a new potential? So, along with fan engagement, we started, okay, we started amplifying the campaigns, we started advocacy, and then we also started profiling the fans. Everybody leaves imprints, digital imprints, right? So, studying the uh, the fan and profiling the fan and the play, you know, positioning products according to according to their interests, serving the right content, contextual content through the right channel. Somebody may be following following only on Facebook, so contextual content going through the right channel. And of course, with all the technology coming up in VR and other things, it's going to change the way we experience sports. There's a company, there's an Intel has come up with a as a VR vest which we can actually feel. They say you can actually smell. So you're, you can actually, you can, uh, you know, experience cricket differently by, I mean, you're, uh, you know, you're, you can visualize that you're standing in, in the first club in Eden Gardens in a game, you can simulate that experience. So, so many new opportunities have come in. And uh, one thing for sure is that analytics is an important element and I believe that every Indian has an inherent strength in data mining and data warehousing. India can be a global leader in sports analytics. We may not win a medal in Olympics in the short run, but we can power everybody's victory world over. And I would like to end with this. Thanks. Thank you.